Hello everyone and welcome back to Car Venus 14. Today I'm going to put this video on loop and then we'll carry on with the video. So today we are talking about Child's character story. I have no idea. Why is the quality so horrendous? We're running in 480p. Okay, um, I'm not going to uh, change the quality because that will ruin the video. So uh, yeah, basically Today we're going to be talking about Child's Story. Now, for those of you who are new to the game and haven't really done Child's Story, then I suggest you turn away now because there are going to be spoilers in this video. Anyway, carrying on. So, uh, Child is the 11th Fatui Harbinger from Snezhnaya, as we know. And, um, yeah, it's really your opinion if you like him or don't like him, really. There are, there are Child Simps out there. Um, I'm not one of them. I do certainly respect the guy, but uh, yeah, that's it really. Anyway, enough of my personal feelings. On with Child Story. So, Child Story starts out with the Traveller and Paimon um, around, uh, walking around or going to, or in uh, Liu Wei Park, no, the, the Pass, not Liu Wei Pass, I forgot the name of it. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Lingjue Pass, that's it. Lingjue Pass, yeah. And uh, apparently, the Millileth soldier there, who's been tasked with guarding the area, has um, received has been seen some uh, unusual um, sightings of ruin guard activity around lately. And uh, yeah, apparently, it's um, starting to become a bit of a problem. So when a little kid is by the ruin guard and comes to, you know, the Millileth comes to tell him to leave this area as the ruin guard may attack him, then the little kid basically says, oh no, this is not a ruin guard, this is Mr. Cyclops, why are you being mean to the good guy, you baddie, and then, yeah, the the, the Millileth soldier basically leaves us to it to um, t uh, basically talk to this kid. Now, it turns out that this kid is actually Tusa. Now, Tusa, for those of you who didn't know, is um, Child's l little brother, his younger brother. And um, the reason Tusa calls the Rune Guards Mr. Cyclops is, well, we'll get to that in a bit. So, we take... Um, Tusa to Child, who's currently dealing with affair with, with uh, Fatui affairs in the Northland Bank, and uh, yeah, he's very surprised to see um, Tusa here. I mean, he's grateful, but he's quite surprised, and frankly, didn't want him here. Anyway, um, the reason uh, as to what Tusa's going on about <laughs> is the re is basically Tusa doesn't know that um, Child is a for Tui Harbinger. Now he's basically told Tusa that he's a toy. He's a toy. He's a toy salesman. There we go. He's a toy. Say, he's a toy. He's a. Toy, <laughs> I can't speak today. He's a toy salesman. Right. Okay. Yeah, he's a toy salesman. So basically, the reason he's lying to Tusa is because a he's younger and b he wants his younger brother to actually, um, you know. Uh, look up to Child as his older brother. Now, everyone in Child's family actually knows that Child is a Fatui Harbinger, apart from Tusa. So, uh, yeah, that's why he's trying to keep this whole thing a secret from Tusa right now. When he's older, he's going to tell Tusa the truth. But yeah, he asked the Traveller to basically play along with uh, this, what, like, you know, play along with the whole, you know, uh, what is it, uh, toy salesman thing. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, basically, Child says he has to go and deal with some Fatui affairs and asks us to take care of the, uh, the Tusa. But obviously, Tusa can't sit still, and um, while Child is recruiting some, uh, you know, some new Fatui, uh, Fatui skirmishes, um, Tusa comes along and basically uh, ruins the party. He also does the same thing with some treasure hoarders, by the way, so uh, yeah. Um, anyway, after that, Child decides to take Tusa to a ruin or the Mr. Cyclops factory. Now, for those of you who don't know, there is a factory in Li L L 
Ling Jui Pass, I believe it's called. Yeah, Ling Jui Pass, and it's a Rune Guard factory. And apparently, it's by one of the. It was created by one of the Harbingers called Dotoria. Now, Dotoria is actually in the Genshin Impact manga, if you didn't know, or the Genshin Impact comic, but. Um, we're not going to go through that in this video because that's a lore video, so uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, once that happens, we basically go into the Ruin Guard factory where Tusa gets in a little bit of trouble um, and we have to basically follow a different path to try and find Tusa. Then we come across a, lo a load of Ruin Guards, in, obviously, which Tusa is excited about, but he doesn't really know what the Ruin Guards are, so uh, yeah. Uh, that's basically it. What else is there? I can't really think of anything else. Um, yeah, after that, uh, Child defeats the ruined guards that try to kill Tusa and him, and then asks Tusa to go home. And yeah, that's the end of the story, really. Um, at the end of that, uh, Child asks us that, um, yes, of course, he wants to beat us in a battle, but he's also quite... You know, he's also quite friendly towards the Traveller now, ever since that incident. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that has been Child's Story, guys. Um, in the next video, we will be going through Zhongli's story. So, uh, yeah. I have been Carvinus14, and still am. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you soon. Goodbye.